Right, so uh, as everyone has already been introduced and welcomed, in part one of the webinar today, we're going to cover what practical aspects of tutoring English online uh, you will need, as well as talk a bit more about the recruitment side. And at the end, we'll do a little Q&A session as well. And then in part two, we can talk about how ETEF and online can help you get started with teaching English online. Okay? So stick around until the end because we're going to give you a very special bonus that is only available to attendees of this webinar. And then we'll have a little Q&A session where we, you can ask Roxanne or I any questions that you may have. OK. So we're going to start now. I need you to turn off your phones, log out of Facebook, get rid of all those distractions, because we can need your full attention for this presentation. I'm doing the same thing myself. There we go. All done. OK. So before we begin, I'm going to walk you through every step. Uh, we'll get you qualified, you know, we'll get you a professional CV, we'll give you all the resources, all the support, and everything that you will need to get that first job. But of course, in the end, it's down to you. Like with any profession, you have to work at it. This is not one of those get-rich-quick schemes, and it's not for everybody. Some of you will make great success from this opportunity, and others won't, okay? But we are willing to show you how to do this in a free webinar. So let's get going. Introductions first. This is me. I'm Jody van der I did an online TEFL course in 2006, and I've been working in Spain as a teacher now for about 13 years. Uh, a few years ago, I started with Cambridge English and started specializing with their exams. Some of you may know about those exams, the first certificate, the FCE, the CAE. This is the European framework for testing people's English levels. And then at about two years ago, I founded eTEFL Online because I saw that most TEFL course providers give their clients a link to a job club when they graduate, like they did with me as well. And then you're, you're on your own, basically. Like, there we go. So uh, I decided that's not enough. So with ETEP and Online, I put together all the pieces of the puzzle into one package so that you can focus on your training and, your te and then teaching English online. And that's it. You don't have to worry about anything else. Um, Roxanne, let's see if we've sorted out that issue. Roxanne? Okay, I am from South Africa. I am in my fourth year of my Bachelor of Education. I signed up with eTEFL Online last year, July, and completed by the 19th of September. And I'm currently working with, say, ABC. Yeah, uh, Roxanne and I have been uh, speaking about this a bit, uh, about her recruitment and everything, and she's been going through a, a few job applications and some interviews lately this week. Has there been any news with that, Roxanne? I, I have had quite a few interviews. I have, um, it's really started to pick up. I did start applying. I want, to, I want to get maybe another one or two companies. I started applying in January and it was a bit quiet, but it's really picking up now. I have um, one, I have another three interviews lined up, and I've yep. had three that I'm waiting to hear from. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, yeah. I was speaking to a lot of people as well and following the situation for this uh, since the beginning of the year, and it's been a tough two months. Uh, January and February for recruitment has been very, very slow, but definitely picking up now. I'm seeing a lot more adverts online, a lot of recruiters, and uh, now would be a perfect time to get that TEFL certification and, and start working towards getting that first interview. All right. So uh, let's get started. Part one of this webinar today. So what is teaching English online, and is there a market for it? So teaching English online is teaching English to non-native uh, English speaker over the internet through the use of a computer and a webcam. This is the simplest we can put it. Uh, students can learn one-on-one -on -one or in a small group, and the cost is usually cheaper than when compared to an in-person or face-to-face -face class. Both the students and teachers are able to set their own times, their own schedules, and the teacher can teach from whatever location is convenient for them. Over the last year, I've seen some massive growth in the online teaching market. 2010, the e-learning industry was worth 32 billion. In 2015, it was 107 billion. And by 2025, it is projected to be worth $325 billion. Now, when I say e-learning industry, I mean all learning over the internet, it's not just English, but English is a big part of that and fast growing as well. So some of the bonuses, you don't have to leave your country. If you want to, you can be a digital nomad. 
and travel and teach English online. And you can earn US dollars wherever you are in the world. So for some of you that are in the United States, for example, and in England, the dollar exchange rate may not be that great. But for other countries, especially if you're traveling the world and for all the South Africans on here, there's a very favorable exchange rate. So there are some misses to that. So let's just cover who can teach English online, right? Who is qualified and who is eligible for this? So contrary to what you might believe, you don't need a teaching degree to do this. I mean, you have one, excellent, but you don't need one, okay? If you're TEFL certified and a fluent English speaker, then you can teach English online. So we provide the, the TEFL course as well, included in all our packages, but if you've got a TESOL or if you've got a, a CELTA, that will also be more than enough. So many companies will also require that you have a bachelor's degree in any field, although this varies from company to company and is not a necessity to take the TEFL course or to work online. Your options when applying for jobs will be fewer because you don't have a bachelor's degree, but there are many companies that still hire non-degreed applicants. So other traits that are often sought after include being personable, having great presentation skills, being able to engage the students. So some of the words they like to use as well are bubbly and have an outgoing personality and things like this. You don't have to have that always, but while you're on the class, at least you can try that. So some advantages to teaching English online. You can teach English online from anywhere in the world. You can work as few or as many hours as you please. You set your own schedule. Uh, you can gain experience in the field of online learning for your CV or just generally in the field of teaching. You can teach online part-time to supplement your income or you can do it full-time. And you can use your TEFL certification to make a positive impact on people's lives and to make some money at the same time. I mean, that's why we all want to do this. We need some money, okay? But at least this way, you are changing something. You are helping people. I mean, a lot of the people that will, will come to you have exams that they need to do. Maybe they need to uh, pass an English exam so that they can get into another country or to get into a university. So you can really, really make an impact in people's lives doing this. Let's just have a look at some of the countries where online te teaching is uh, in high demand. China is at the top of that list. Maybe nine out of 10 of all the companies that you will hear from and uh, apply to will be Chinese companies. All right. So other, com other countries will be South, uh, South Korea, Japan, Hong Kong, Vietnam, Taiwan, most of them in Asia, as you'll see. The Philippines is also a big one. And then Russia, the UAE, and some uh, European countries as well. But mostly, mostly in Asia. All right, so let's talk a little bit about your students, your online class sizes, and your session types. So there are typically two different types of sessions. When teaching English online, one of them is, of course, the one-on-one -on -one or private sessions. This will just involve you, the teacher, and only one student. And then small groups, anywhere from two to six students at a single time. I did want to ask Roxanne about this, whether or not uh, she's teaching, are you teaching one-on-one -on -one mostly or small groups? I am teaching small groups, uh, generally from one to four with, say, ABC. All right. And I actually have my interview tomorrow is with class 100, and they actually uh, teach in the public schools in China. So you're actually on a big um, projector in front of a whole class. So that would be something very different as well. Yeah, yeah. I've heard about those companies. I just haven't been able to pin down which ones exactly. Yes, I, I actually applied to Class 100, um, I, I, I think, last year, and I got an email this week uh, saying they would like to consider me and um, book an interview. All right. Well, there you go. You see, never give up. Just because you don't hear anything back, it doesn't mean that uh, they're not going to hire you in the end. Okay, let's move on. So um, session types, all right? So the types of English that you could be teaching would be general or conversational English. Uh, there's a couple of apps as well that, that use that, something like Palfish um, is one of them. And it's just an application. You plug in your, your headphones that you have that with your mobile phone, whatever comes with it, and just chat to people like that. Some of the companies as well for general English just are text messages or over Facebook Messenger. So there's lots of other ways to teach, not just on your computer face-to-face. Business English as well, if you have a lot of experience in, in business, maybe you've worked in a corporate field for many, many years and you're thinking of changing, you can definitely focus your teaching on that, if, especially if you go freelance. And then examination preparation, like I mentioned earlier, 
students who want to get into universities or want to immigrate or like that and they need to prepare for a specific uh, exam you can help prepare them for that and that's that's some of the stuff i was doing with cambridge as well and i did a lot of preparation for students that want to do these cambridge exams and get into university so most companies will provide you with all the materials you need as well so if you work for an online school an established one they have their own curriculum and their own uh, way of doing things and, and all the materials and they just give it to you and teach you how to use it as well so you basically just walk your students through a series of slides and you guide their learning encouraging them and correcting any errors that that they may have uh, on the next slide i've got a little pic for you of what a typical class looks like on the inside now it's more or less like this every company is going to have their own interface and it'll look similar to this but not exactly like this so you, as you can see at the top they will give you your, your notes as well. Maybe in, 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 for this online school, it'll be on the page. And in others, they will email it to you and tell you exactly what you need to do. So ask the student to look at the picture and talk about it. Encourage the student to read alone. Emphasize one of the highlighted words and ask the question, why did Stu run towards the chest? All right. So they walk you through everything as well. There's very, I mean, there's some preparation involved when you work for an online school but not a lot. You don't have to create your own materials and things like that, all right? So uh, I wanted to ask Roxanne about this. Your, uh, your company that you work for, say ABC, at least the one that you have got some experience with, is it similar to this? Uh, yes, it has uh, most of what you're showing. Uh, it's just, it's set up a bit differently. Like you have the, the teacher's guide on the side and then there's the slides in the middle and mm -hmm. um, my picture up, on the left hand corner and then the students are all along the bottom because there's mm. anywhere from one to uh, four students. All right, great. All right. So you see, like I was saying, it's uh, a lot of the times it's very, very similar to this, but just, you know, that your proposal will be on the left instead of on the right, but that's irrelevant. But basically the teacher's notes will be there and the materials you need and the sentences you need to work with and things like that. All right, let's move on. So, how many hours do you commit to this? So, this is the beauty of uh, Tutoring English Online is that the hours you work and the schedule you set is completely up to you. So, while some online schools may require you to teach a specific number of hours, you can usually choose from teaching only a few hours per week up to 20 hours, or you can even do this full time uh, and do 40 hours a week or more. Uh, some, I know some places when they require a few hours a week, a minimum amount, it's, I've seen seven hours a week, some places 10 hours a week. So around that, uh, Roxanne, what is, say, ABC's policy? Is there a minimum amount that you need to work? As, as say, ABC is, um, you, there's no minimum. You basically open your slots, but they do uh, like you to open 14 weeks in advance when you're going to be available uh, because they book in, um, it, it's units so there's nine classes per unit so that's how they keep rescheduling so they mm -hmm. you will get the which is quite nice because it gives you a little bit of security that you're going to have these classes every week um i've had the same two units uh, since i started with say abc uh, because i'm still working full-time i haven't been able to open a full schedule um but yes, I'm just wanting to get um, another one or two companies, and then I think I'm going to make the jump to full time, which is quite exciting. Oh, excellent. That's good to hear. All right. So uh, you, and, it is uh, possible to go Teresa, full time. There's, yeah? uh, sorry, I just saw a question. There's no minimum hours, um, but for your best booking rate, you need to open up your availability for 14 weeks. And um, they, they have pairs, so you'll teach the same kids twice a week, um, and yeah, you get you get booking priority if your slots are open in advance. All right, yeah. So this, of course, will differ from online school to online school. Everyone's got their own their own policies, so it depends. All right. So yeah, so can you imagine waking up when you decide and working from your lounge? I know teachers who do this exact thing. This is a generic photo of the internet, but I know teachers who sit in their, in their pajama pants and teach. Because I mean, some of these um, platforms, you can only see your face and some of them are audio only. So you could you know, be wearing a clown wig and no one will notice. 
All right, or being at home when your kids come back from school, being able to go to their rugby matches or whatever, their soccer matches, whatever sport they do. All right, so this is why I do what I do, yeah? why, why I work from home, so that I can spend more time with my family. Or some of you might want to go traveling the world or working online from wherever you are to fund your next trip, the, live the digital nomad lifestyle. So if that is your aim with this, then this is probably a very, very good vehicle to do that with. Okay, so how can you work online? So we, I showed you a little clip there, well, a little photo earlier of what the inside of a class looks like if you're working for an online school. So there are other ways to do it, though. So there are so many online schools to consider when, you, when you're looking for work, but there's more than one way. We'll look at three and then offer you a solution for each one in the next part of the webinar. So one is an employee, like we talked about earlier. You work for an online school. Uh, two is you work for yourself as a freelancer, but you join up with another platform and they'll help you find students and things like that. And then three is a business owner where you start your own online school. Uh, you don't have to be a school per se, but your own online business, teaching business, and you are the only teacher. And then you can also create online courses that are pre-recorded and pre-made and sell those. So there's a lot more scope for expansion that way. But of course, it comes with greater risk and it's a bit more difficult. Let's have a look at them. First one, employee. So in this option, you interview for a position with an online school, uh, like say ABC or Dada or any one of these that you've heard. Uh, you get hired, you have a contract, and they pay you a fixed hourly wage once or twice a month. So the advantages are they provide you with students, the materials, the curriculum, and there's very little prep work to do. Uh, like Roxanne was saying, she's had the same two units for, since she's been working there, so after a while you get to know them really well. And you can, you can anticipate the, the mistakes that are going to be made and things like that. Disadvantages? Uh, hourly wage can vary a lot. I've seen as low as $5, and I've seen uh, on average as high as 25 but some people advertising 30 and above. So you really, it's a mixed bag. Uh, you can't choose your students. They just get assigned to you, and many require that you have a university degree or be working towards one. But like I said, that's not, that shouldn't be any reason to stop you from tutoring online. Uh, Roxanne, I wanted to ask you about some of these things. What is the starting salary, for example, with, say, ABC? Uh, with so ABC, you'll receive $15 for um, your 40-minute class. And then when you complete the nine lessons of the unit, you get a bonus, which works out to $4 per class. So it's basically um, $19 per class. If you are put yourself available for um, to be a substitute, then you get your $15 plus another $7 as a substitute uh, bonus. And if you do a trial class, the if and that student signs up, you will get um, $8 for a trial conversion. And it's quite cool because you will have four students in the trial class. So if you convert each student in that one class, it can be a very profitable class. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, so that's the thing about um, about for an online school is that there's always these bonus schemes and there's referral uh, commissions and all kinds of things like this to kind you know boost the teachers' uh, interaction, boost the amount of effort that you're going to put in as well. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in a bit as well. So yeah, well, we're talking about how many companies there are. I've got I've only got one slide to dedicate to online schools. All right, so this doesn't even cover uh, one fifth of the companies out there. So some of these you may recognize, like VIP Kid is the industry leader. If you are not living in the United States or Canada at the moment, then there's no point of even applying to VIP, via, sorry, VIP Kid. They only accept candidates that live and work in the United States and Canada. Um, Lingoda as well, 51 Talk, uh, Talk 915 is also known as ZTE. They all have numbers and letters, it's, it's great. Uh, Dada is another famous one. You might have heard of that. IQ Bar is a British company. They're paying pounds. Uh, Panda ABC is very famous. Akadsoc is one of those Philippine companies that pays very, very low. But if you're struggling to find work, apply to them because they will hire almost anybody at any time of the year. And then there's some more, as you can see. Magic Ears is another famous one. Say ABC is on that list there. That's owned by Dada. So a lot of these companies, even though there's 350 online schools, a lot of them are owned by the same parent company. All right, let's move on. So, for example, freelance. That's another option that you, could, uh, that you could consider. In this option, you apply for a position with an online teaching platform. 
that connects students with teachers. So you don't work for them, you don't have a contract or anything like that. So the advantages are you choose your own hourly wage, you choose the students, you choose the hours, you have more autonomy uh, because of that. So you work as much and whenever you want. And it's much easier than finding your own students. So you're kind of like your own boss, all right? And you set you, but you have to create your own uh, your own materials as well. So that comes in with the disadvantages. There's competition between teachers. So this platform is a website that students log on and they say, I want to learn English. And they choose English from the list and they are showing the different teachers and they get to decide which one they work with. So there's some competition there. Uh, your income is not guaranteed. Obviously, if nobody wants to work with you that month, then you know there's no money. And they charge you a commission, this is the platform, of around 10 to 20% depending on, on the different platforms. So they will take the payments, they will find the students, and for that, they take a commission of whatever you charge. So if you do decide to go this route, then uh, make sure that you include that 10 or 20% in your prices before you start uh, selling courses and, and classes online. Okay. So yeah, some of the, the platforms that work like that. Uh, italki is probably the, the most famous one. Uh, TutorMe, lo lower down in the list, and Verbling as well. They are some big ones. Um, Schooly, I love these names. And then Palfish and Boxfish, Boxfish at the bottom. They got a little asterisk there because those are app-based um, platforms. So you have an app on your phone, and that's it. You don't even need a computer to do that. And then as well, whenever for I know, for example, for Palfish, when you're ready to teach, if you've got a few hours, you're doing nothing in the afternoon, you log on. And it'll show you're available, and then students can connect to you, and you can just, uh, it's just verbal, it's just speaking, conversational English, and that's it. Okay, and the third option is a business owner. So in this option, you build your own online teaching business, okay? So you have full control of every aspect of your day, including your students' income methodology, and the income has the potential to be much, much higher, but it's also uh, much, much higher risk. So the advantages, total autonomy now, so you are genuinely your own boss. Then you have the possibility to scale, which means growing. So you're growing your business to a point where you're talking about hundreds of dollars an hour instead of just 10 or 20 or 30 dollars an hour. But the disadvantages, like I said, are there's a very steep learning curve. Uh, I have started my own online business. And uh, yeah, it takes a while to get to, to get to know all the systems that you need and the things you don't need are more important, actually. So you need to build a website. You need to learn to advertise, to get students, create your own materials. And there's, of course, a larger initial investment involved. But here's where you can start focusing on specific skills that you have acquired throughout your life and you know, applying it to that and specialize in, in some sort of... If you've been in real estate, for example, your whole life, there are thousands of people out there who would like to go work in an English country as a real estate agent and uh, would love to, uh, to get your input. Or if you've worked in finance or in law or anything like that. All right, let's move on. How much can you earn? Here we go. This is what people have come for. So, for example, if you work just three hours a day, uh, five days a week, and we'll say at $10 an hour at the, at the low end of the spectrum, you can earn $600 per month. And that's just work part-time. So there's a little breakdown for you at the bottom. Three hours uh, a day, five days a week is 15 hours. 15 hours times 10 is 150. And say there's four weeks in a month, that's around $600 a month. Okay? So that's just working part-time. If we were to still work part-time and just up that to $20 an hour, we are talking around 1200 So obviously, you can double that previous amount. So earning $600 to $1,000 a month working part-time is, is not unusual and very attainable. OK, so but remember, though, your hourly wage is the only source of the income that you have. Like Roxanne said about the bonuses, that $4 bonus, and then doing some trial classes and trying to get students to sign up and getting bonuses like that. So there's tons and tons of ways. So uh, if we're completing a certain amount of hours uh, or, or modules or lessons or having no cancellations in a different month, in a month. So that depends on the company. So it varies a lot. Uh, many companies pay you as well for your open or unbooked slots or if your student is a no-show. I did want to clarify that with this with you, Roxanne. Does a say ABC pay you if uh, they can't book your slot? They, um if your slot is, if they've they've pre-booked it, say for a trial, or if you had a student booked and say the student cancelled with less than um, 24 hours notice, you will still get paid for the slot. But if um, nothing's been booked in that slot, you won't get paid for it. 
All right. Okay. But there is, there is. I know with re regard to all my interviews that I've been having and that I have booked, there are companies out there that will guarantee um, your pay, your hour. You will give them a schedule, and you will basically be available for standby, and they will pay you for that uh, time that you are waiting. Yeah. Okay, I, I I think one of those is uh, a cat sock that Philip that Philippine company that I, that I spoke about earlier. Pretty low. Um, I think their average salary is about five dollars an hour, but they if you book yeah. Yeah. And then they they pay you regardless of whether you booked or not. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if anybody takes uh, fills that slot, you get paid for it regardless. I'm sure they must have some ways. You can't just book out the whole month and then get paid, regardless of what you do. But anyway, it depends on the company. So uh, most companies also have referral programs where they pay you a commission if you recruit other teachers. So they'll give you, a, it's the same thing in all the companies. As soon as you, you get hired, they'll send you a, a link, a very long bunch of numbers and letters that's unique to you. And if, some, if you find somebody that wants to teach online, you give them that link. And if that person gets hired, they pay you. Uh, I know for Dada, for example, uh, used to pay $100. That teacher had to be hired and then be working for a month and then qualifies and you used to get $100. And I know, I know another guy that was getting up to $9,000 a month sometimes in August and in the busy areas. But anyway, so we have also introduced a referral program, uh, but we'll talk about that in a moment. So you can get used to the idea of it. I just wanted to talk about this guy. We'll just show you a picture. This is Dan Didio. He works for VIP Kid and he's making $75,000 a year working for, uh, for this company, but I'm sure that he does, it's not just all teaching hours, it's uh, referrals as well and things like that, all the bonuses that come in. But I, I'm not, listen, I'm by no, in no, by no means telling you that you're going to make $75,000 a year, I'm just showing you what is possible and that this guy has done it. Okay, so uh, paying taxes, this is the part nobody likes. Most online English teaching jobs categorize you as either an independent contractor or self-employed. This means it's your responsibility to report your earnings as a self-employed self income. So one benefit of online teaching, if you pay your taxes, is that the tax office will allow you to write off a portion of your home or your apartment as a home office. You can also write off expenses like your laptop, your computer, your internet that you pay every single month, the webcam, microphone, anything you need, teaching supplies that you've had to buy for your, for your job, you can write it off and not have to pay tax on that amount. Um, I am not a financial advisor, and I would advise you to speak to somebody who does know what they are talking about, about these kind of taxes, because everywhere, everywhere you are, it's, it's different, okay? And now, even when you rent a house? Yes, even when you rent a house. But uh, I must say again, ask, ask a professional about this, a uh, professional tax consultant, okay? Um, Roxanne, how are you classified uh, with, say, ABC? Uh, Self-employed? Uh, yes, I, I've, as I said, I've been, I've been with say ABC since October, uh, so I do need to go uh, take a trip to the SARS office. Um, but I have a pile of receipts here, so <laughs> I need to get that all under under control still. Um, uh, as you can imagine, I'm I'm avoiding that a bit, but yes, I need to go get that done. Um, but yes. yes, I mean, I've kept all my laptop receipts, um, my telecom bills for my internet, um, and then I'm not sure how much of my rent I can take off, but I know that there is a portion. I think it will be worked out on space. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. Well, as as far as I know, the way it works for me is that it's worked out on space. If you if your office area in your house is 10% of the total square footage, you can deduct 10%. Things like that. But again, speak to somebody who knows exactly what they're talking about. This is not something you want to, to mess up. All right. So let's move on. What do you need to get started? Well, first of all, you'll need a TEFL certificate, which is now mandatory for all Chinese online schools. They are not allowed to hire you by law in their country if you do not have this. You can have an, an equivalent certificate, like I said earlier, like the CELTA or something like that as well. That's fine as well. But the, the TIFL certificate is uh, by far the, the, the easiest and the fastest to get before you can start teaching online. So you'll need to do a four-week, 120-hour TIFL certification course, which we'll provide in all of our packages. So we offer three options, the standard online, the professional online, and the complete online. So there's just 
the same TEFL course is included in every single package. It's just the extras that you put in that, that we put in each package that uh, affects the price of it. Okay, so some of them have a lot more support and CV writing services and coaching and all of these other things. And we'll talk about them in a bit. So one, you need a TEFL certificate. Two, you need a computer or a smartphone if you're just going to use the apps with an internet connection. So the advantage of teaching English online is the fact that getting started is, is pretty easy. And startup costs are generally low, given that you already have access to most of the required equipment. Everybody has a mobile phone now. And most people, 99% of people have a computer. You all have access to the internet. So some of you might have to upgrade the computer or upgrade the internet, but you basically have uh, a way to start. So let's talk about the essentials when we're talking hardware. So you need a laptop or a desktop computer. I recommend an i5 processor or an equivalent with at least 2.5 uh, gigahertz. Uh, eight gigabytes of RAM and a solid state hard drive. Although that's, you know, that'll just help with a boot up speed. Starting up your computer, not really a necessity. HD webcam. But then again, I think all webcams are HD nowadays. They don't even make them less than HD. Uh, reliable high speed internet connection. So we're talking three to 10 megabytes download speed. Minimum, minimum, minimum. All right. The higher you can get, the better. Whatever you can afford the most, that's what you go for. Uh, headset with a noise cancelling microphone and get one of those before you start interviewing so that when you sit in your interview you've got that on your head already and that's how you conduct your interview that's going to make you look the part as well when the, when you're going for these interviews they're not trying to hire someone who wants to be a teacher they are trying to hire someone who is a teacher so prepare yourself and be a teacher in your own mind and look the part as well okay all right um, Oh yes, Roxanne, about your computer. Uh, you said you have a laptop receipt. What are the specs there? Um, the specs are about the same. Um, should I go dig out the receipt? <laughs> no, that's <laughs> all right. It was definitely, definitely eight gig of RAM. I, I bought it in October. And yeah, it, I haven't had any issues since. I um, I have a, a router with an Ethernet cable. A lot of the companies do require Ethernet cable, um, but I mean, that's very minimal cost um, involved in that. And my internet ranges from about um, three to five upload, and I get as about 20 download, and that seemed to be acceptable for most companies I've applied for. Mm. Yeah, look, if you've got, uh, if you've got uh, 20, 20 megabytes download, then, then yes, it's, yeah, you shouldn't have any issues. And I have, uh, with my laptop, I haven't had any issues at all either, and it's, it's those specs that I have. All right. Okay. So let's move on. Software. So if you're going to go freelance, then you need, a lot of people use Skype. Although I'm not a fan of Skype, uh, Zoom, on the other hand, is a very good, a very good platform to use. Very good software. Uh, it has a lot more features. Most online teachers that are serious about it, that have their own businesses or or work freelance, they use Zoom. Uh, it has a lot of extra features where you can add people into groups. Like for example, you can have group classes on your on your video platform, and you can pair up people and start mini groups and say, okay, you two and you two go and talk together here, and then nobody else can hear them. So things like that is a whiteboard function as well. So you can turn on a whiteboard and then just scribble with your mouse and make a picture or something to explain yourself, which you <laughs> will have to do a lot. Okay. So it's a lot more versatile and designed for online teaching. So online schools have their own video platform. So if you end up working for say ABC or Dada or whoever, they will have their own platforms. And like we saw earlier, that photo, and they'll provide you with everything and all the training. So that's not something you need to consider then. Uh, some other things you might want to consider, uh, a PayPal or bank account. I'm sure most of your bank accounts. Um, PayPal is sometimes necessary, although nowadays most of the companies pay directly into your bank account. And you'll need a quiet, well-lit home office or just a workspace, even just a corner somewhere in your house where you where behind you as well. Very important, your background during your interview and also every day in the class uh, to have a clear background, not strange pictures or an open window or something like that. Uh, I know a company, iTutor, I and they insist that you print out the iTutor logo and make a big whiteboard behind you that says iTutor all over it. So again, that depends on the company you end up working for. 
All right. Well, okay, let's jump into part two. Um, what can ETFL Online do for you? So what we do is we specialize in helping people like you to get started teaching online quickly and then earning the highest possibly hourly rate, okay? More than a decade of experience in the TEFL industry. We are a network of trusted recruitment partners that we work with, course providers, consultants, the works. And we have pieced together everything you need to create three custom packages designed to suit everyone's needs and budget, all right? So we'll provide you with a training. The basic breakdown of what we do is we train you and prep you. Then we prepare all the documentation and do all the coaching, uh, give you the resources that you need for finding jobs and for keeping them, and then send you on your way to teach. So you don't have to worry about anything. You can just focus on teaching. So let's have a little breakdown here of what's, who we work with and how it works. So we work with uh, the International TEFL Organization and with eEnglish, which is a subdivision thereof. So they were founded in 2002, and they've helped over 17,000, I'm sure. I've got to change the slide. It's probably 18,000 people now get their TEFL certifications all over the world. They have offices in Thailand, in the United States, in the UK, Australia, South Africa. Uh, they provide the fully accredited 120-hour TEFL certification, which is internationally recognized. I've been working with them for many years now, and everybody loves them. All right. And then we also work with Diginome, where, whose founder is Jason McCarthy. I was just speaking to him an hour ago. Uh, he's an online teacher, a recruiter, and a coach. Uh, he provides the video course exclusively for eTEFL Online. We have a short video course that comes with the professional and complete online packages that will help you get set up for, for your first um, interview and your first job application. And he recruits for various online schools. So we'll work with him as well once you've got everything up and ready to go and look for jobs. We can also help you there. Did you know we'll help you out? And then we also work with just Essel Resumes. Rachel, who was, there she is, who's in the chat box there. Rachel's online with us. This is her company, just Essel Resumes. Chris and Rachel, Australian digital nomads. Rachel is an ESL recruiting specialist. Uh, and Chris is a business development manager. And they recruit for all kinds of ESL roles, online and abroad. And they'll provide a discounted CV writing service exclusively as well for eTEFL Online. Hello, Rachel. There she is. OK. Right. So uh, I just wanted to show you something. I know a lot of you heard a lot about TEFL, so I'd like to speak about this. So, so this is one of the Facebook comments that I got on one of my posts a couple of months back. So I did a, a TEFL course to teach English to foreigners. That was four years ago, passed with merit, and have still not done anything with it. They did not give me any program to follow when starting to teach someone of any level of English or anything else. For me, it was a total waste of time and money. I see a lot of those kind of comments, and I get a lot of emails about it as well people that have done a TEFL course, because remember, TEFL is not a company. TEFL is a certification, and there are thousands of people that provide TEFL courses, all different organizations all over the world. So the person she did it with, uh, with whoever gave her TEFL course, I don't know who, and that's it. Like I said earlier, they gave, you do the TEFL course, and they give you a link to a job club, and you know, goodbye. Off, off you go on your bike. But uh, that's exactly what I try to avoid, because I know that there's a lot more to it. So I want to add versus, I'd like to show you some actual feedback from an eTEFL Online client. At first, I was very skeptical about online teaching, but with the help and great service from eTEFL Online, I'm now enjoying my teaching online, and it's all thanks to you guys. The great service I received from the team was amazing, and within a few weeks, I had my certificate, and the training was all done. Jody was there to answer all my crazy questions and help me every step of the way to get a job. I would definitely recommend you guys to anyone who's interested in teaching online. So this is from Megan. All right, uh, she got started with us, ooh, beginning of last year and got a job within a week or two of completion. Uh, last I heard, she was also, uh, Megan, as far as I can recall, ha does not have a degree. She does not have a bachelor's degree, and she was earning, last I heard, $16 an hour with Panda ABC. So there's another company for you to consider. OK, so that's, that's exactly what I was trying to go for. This is the reason that I started ETF and online, is so that people, once they're done with this, have a clear path of exactly what to do, where to go, all of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Roxanne jumped on there. All right. Roxanne, you wanted to say something? I'm fine. Um, <laughs> but yes, I do agree. I also had a job within, um, I, I think it was about two weeks, I had my first job. Right. And I can tell you that Megan's questions were not all that crazy. All right. So uh, let's just move on to what what it is that you need, okay? So this is the first of our packages, the standard online package. This includes your internationally recognized online TEFL course, your accredited 120-hour certificate, 
Uh, also comes with a teaching young learners module included. And this is going to help you a lot because when you start working online, especially if you're working for a school, they are first going to uh, set you up with younger students because that's the majority of their, of their client base. Okay. Uh, then this is the thing I want to talk about the most. For 2019, the Cambridge TKT online course and exam fees are now included. Now, this is a great thing. If you don't have a degree, then you must take this course and do the exam to be able to compete with degree teachers out there. And if you don't, just still take it. I mean, we're going to pay back your exam fees to you. So this is a great, great opportunity. In the past years, we always suggested people did, did, did this course, and we provided you with the online course to prepare you. But I had to pay the exam fees in the end, which could be up to $225. So they're included in every single package this year. So if you have the time and you have the need for it, you really, really, really should take this. Uh, you'll also get an online tutor to help guide you through all your, your TEFL course, uh, answer your questions, correct all your, your, your exams and things and that you have to send to her or him. Uh, you also have membership to the Tutors Resource Center. And that includes useful links to websites, to recruiters. Uh, also comes with a pack of done few lesson plans to help get you started, especially if you're going freelance and you need some pre-made lesson plans. We'll include those for you as well. And a little DIY job application kit. So this is the basic package, the standard online. So it doesn't come with any of the support and the coaching that we're speaking about. But if this is your budget and maybe you've already got a job offer and all you're missing is the TEFL, then this is the package for you. It also comes with our referral program membership, which will give you 10% commissions. Uh, we can talk a bit about this more in depth later, but just to give you an idea, with every package, you will also like if you work for an online school, they will provide you with a referral link. We'll also give you one of those. And if somebody uh, signs up with us, we'll pay you a 10% 10, 10 commission. The second package we offer is the professional online. So that's everything in the standard online package that we just saw previously. And then on top of that, we throw in a professionally written CV and cover letter service that is provided by Rachel there and just SL resumes. And she'll build that from the ground up and interview you and speak to you and get all the documentation together and create a, an amazing CV. Everybody's happy with their CVs. Everybody. I haven't heard anything bad at all. So that's great to know. Uh, we also provide one-on-one -on -one job support and guidance. So this is where the, the extra guidance and support comes in with these packages. The bonus video course that I mentioned earlier from uh, DigiNo to get hired as an online teacher. And then the referral program memberships in this, con in this package are 20% instead of 10%. OK, uh, let's move on to the next one. The complete online. All right, so everything in the professional online package that we just saw. Now, in this case, we add the job interview practice over Skype with a professional feedback report. There's a personalized script for a two minute introduction video. So uh, maybe you don't know, but when you apply for these online positions, you, some of them, most of them really, you have to send a short video or a link to a video that you've made introducing yourself and your teaching style and your education and things like that. So uh, just as the resumes will help you with that as well and make a personalized script. And then you just take that script home and you record it and that's it. Just read it. And then also a 60 to 90 second script on how to answer the question. So can you tell us a bit about yourself? I know for a fact that <laughs> that is a terrible, terrible question. It's very difficult to ask. So to have a script on how to answer that kind of thing would be very, very helpful. Also, a LinkedIn profile creation and optimization service. If you already have a LinkedIn profile, uh, just so resumes will optimize that for online English teaching. And if not, create one from scratch from, for you. And of course, the membership for the referral program is included in this one as well. And now this time with 30% commissions. There's Rachel over there. All right. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about these two other packages. Uh, if anybody, just heads up, if you are interested in these next two, send me an email afterwards because they are not habitual uh, products of eTelephone Online. But this first one is a business package with Jack from Tesla, which is teaching English as a second language online. So he has a course where you can build your own online teaching business, like option three we spoke of earlier. So this course will show you how to set up your own online teaching business from scratch. Now he's done it successfully. And you'll also learn how to get students, how to create a website, payment systems, how to create online courses, and tons, tons more. Okay? The online courses is really where the, the extra income by, from owning your own business comes into play. Whereas you can create a, a short uh, video course or a written course that people can take, and you create it once and put it up for sale, and people buy it regularly. So you have something in the background that's running all the time and bringing income, and then you can do your teaching on the side as well. 
So included are 45 video lessons in the main course, bonus tutorials, resources, and worksheets. There's a forum that you can ask questions, lifetime access, and updates. And he offers you a 30-day money-back guarantee as well. So if you really want interested in starting your own online business, this, this is definitely something you want to look at. All right, and eEnglish as well, if you visit their website, you'll see as well that they have various packages. They offer uh, the TEFL courses that we use. They offer the CELTA courses, if you're interested in doing the Cambridge CELTA. And they also offer a, a franchise for people to market and present their, their systems and their, and their products as well. So they'll offer you a complete turnkey marketing system and business platform. They will uh, do advanced digital marketing for you and Facebook training courses. You can earn up big commissions with them as well. And you have a two-day uh, digital marketing workshop in Thailand as well, which they'll put you up in the hotel for free as well to teach you how to do all of this stuff. Okay, so the first three are for you to work online. The package previously to this, the business package, is if you want to start your own business and if you want to expand into other areas and do some more uh, separate to teaching, then the e-English package is definitely for you. So I just wanted to touch quickly on the referral program that I spoke about earlier. But when you're working online, you have access to so many multiple streams of income. So with ETF and online referral program, we're trying to provide you with the means to earn commissions by promoting our packages. So this program is completely optional. You will be automatically uh, signed up to it, but you don't have to do anything if you don't want to. There's no selling of any kind. There's no phone calls or emails, and it's no extra cost to you. Okay. So all you have to do is share a link. So when you sign up to one of our packages, you'll also be given a very long link with numbers and letters and things. And uh, you share that with people, and if they click on it and they sign up, we pay you a referral commission, basically, of 10, 20, or 30 percent. Marianne, I see, is in the comments section. She is doing very well with this. OK, I've spoken a lot, spoken a lot. So let's just summarize very quickly what there is here. I wanted to just do a quick breakdown of what's included and how much it costs. So for example, the fully accredited 120-hour online TEFL course and certificate is $297, all right? If you go to the website for eEnglish and do the course, that's how much it's going to cost you. So I just wanted to give you a breakdown about how much all of these things cost if you buy them individually. So the second thing you get included is the Cambridge TKT course and exam fees, which could be up to $225, depending on how many modules you do. There are three or four modules. Okay, so this is now included as well. So this is already a value of over $500. The third thing we include is the CV and cover letter and the job interview practice, the introduction video script, the LinkedIn profile creation, all of those things that are provided by Just Ezel Resumes. If you go to their website, you can see the package that we include is for sale on their website for $267. Okay, so we're really up at a value of $789. And the last thing is the Teachers Resource Center, which I valued at 200. It could be more, it could be less. I know that these similar membership sites for resources, if you pay them, it's a monthly fee of around about $10 a month. So, and on average, a year would be 120. So a lifetime value could be no less than 200. All right, so that's a value of around $989. We're talking almost $1,000, but of course, I'm not going to charge you $1,000. That would be ridiculous. Uh, on the website, if we go and look there, the complete online that we spoke about earlier is only $497. So you're saving 510. Uh, the professional online is 397 so you're saving 425 and the standard online is 297 so you're saving, again, $425 if you had to buy through this site instead of going and buying it all individually. And, of course, because you're on the webinar and you've stayed until the end, thank you very much, we're going to offer you an even bigger discount. So if you use the code WEBINAR50 when you sign up for one of the packages, I'll give you another $50 off. So the complete online and then would be 447, the professional 347, and the standard 247. Now this webinar code is only going to be active until Sunday night, so until the end of the week. I realize that some people have plans to make and you've got to get stuff in order. So this will definitely be available for the next couple of days. And for people that are on the webinar right now, we have a special giveaway. So if you sign up right now, live on the webinar, I'm going to also throw in a Logitech USB headset so that you are ready to go when you start your first interview or when you start your first job. And this is valued at $45 or 35 pounds or around 600 rand if you're in South Africa. All right, and this is a very uh, typical, it's not the best of the best, but it's not the lowest of the low. It's like a mid-range headset that a lot of online English teachers use and are very, very happy with it. Um, so this as well will be thrown into the package. But this is only for people who sign up on the webinar right now.
So if you go here to etefanonline.com and scroll down a little bit, you will see these three packages like that. There's the standard, the professional, and the complete. And underneath, there's an Enroll Now button. You click on one of those buttons, depending on the package of your choice. And you'll be taken to this page where you fill in your details. Now, at the top here, it says click here to enter your code. So that's where you enter the webinar code. The Where is it? There it is, Webinar 50. And then remember to click Apply Code or apply coupon, because if you don't click on apply, it's not going to give you the discount. You fill in that information, and at the bottom of the page, you will see, just check at the bottom here to see that it has been discounted. There you'll see webinar 50, $50 off. And you can either choose to pay by PayPal, or you can choose by credit or debit card, and click on proceed, and that's it. Okay? All right. No problem, Liz. So, uh, what I wanted to do at the end of this was just to open up some Q&A sessions. I know that I've seen some people chatting and asking questions there on the left in the box. Uh, and if you've got any questions, let rip. And then you can ask, you can either ask Roxanne or something or me something, whatever you want. Let's see what Anel has to say. Uh, and now, let me put it in here. You can email me directly here. It's jody at com. Let me send it. That's it. Anybody here, you can email me on that link over there. Irma, yes, I can give you a copy of these slides. Irma, have you signed up to the mailing list? Omita, yes, definitely. You can ask your tutor directly to get a reference. Yeah, I'm uh, just talking about, yeah, because when you sign up to the mailing list, the first email that you receive after that has got the uh, a PDF guide, which is basically this PowerPoint presentation, just in a much nicer, easier to read way. But yes, I'll send it to you. Just send me that, uh, just send me an email. The certification is valid your whole life. It never expires. Les, uh, okay, also like a copy of the slides, no problem. Les, just send me an email to jody at etefl online. <laughs> Les, load shedding, yes. Oh, the poor South Africans. If you're not South African and on this presentation, like no offense, don't feel left out, but they, uh, they're they having a hard time there with the electricity. Your, your communication while teaching in class is always in English, 100% in English. You never have to communicate with them in their own language. And a lot, especially if you work for an online school as well, they have support teams that will uh, deal with any issues like that. If, if they want to speak in their own native language, they'll call support, not you. Uh, Peter, you can contact Rachel directly. There's Rachel now <laughs> typing something. Momita, you don't need to be a native English speaker, but there are very few companies that hire non-natives. So it's going to be tougher for you to find a job and you're, you're not going to, uh, yeah, VIP kid, VIP kid wants native speakers and US and Canadian residents. It's very, very exclusive. Yes, that's true, yeah. Rachel, what Rachel's done there. Rachel did the course. She went through the whole course of ours and the whole application process and all of that stuff. So you can just click on it and read that. There was a whole series of them. Jens, your, your TEFL is valid, yes. It's still valid. It'll be valid for life.
Peter, uh, Rachel is on the chat right now. Rachel, Peter wants to know. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's the website. There's our email address. If you're not a native uh, English speaker, it will affect your your, uh, your chances at finding a job. It's companies that do advertise for native speakers, the, I think the amount per hour is a lot lower, though. And it's only certain companies. Yeah, listen, there's um, a website called Good Air Language. Let me find it. I'll do one second, please. Um, Jody, doesn't uh, Jason ha on his website have information about who hires non-natives? He does, but it's a very small list. I have a much bigger one here. One second. Let's go, let's go. Um, yeah, I'll put it in the, in the chat box, the link. Okay. So there's a, a website you can click on, goodairlanguage.com slash non-native, and that'll give you a big list of schools that hire non-natives. Whoever made this list is a champion. This must have taken months and months and months to compile. So this is a great resource. They also have a list for native speakers. I will give you that list too. All right, and here's the other list. There we go. So for those of you who are already TEFL certified or are looking for jobs or anything like that, you can go to the second link if you're a native speaker and uh, the first link if you're non-native. Welcome, Dorothy. Uh, 